Most people would probably have a vague awareness of what the quickest muscle cars from the 1970s might be, and perhaps envision monster engine pony and midsize cars, and they would be largely correct. However, the details of the specific trim, engine, and transmission options are mostly forgotten. In this video, we review 10 of the quickest factory original muscle cars from the 1970s and how they were optioned in the order of 0 to 60 mile per hour times. And to satisfy curiosity, we've included their original cost when new and how much they're worth today. So here we go for a cruise down classic car mile to take a nostalgic look back at some legendary muscle car warriors from the unbridled horsepower era of the early 1970s. In 1970, Buick decided to mix Go Fast with Class and infused their mid-sized Skylark with enough muscle to produce a car with 360 horsepower and 510 foot-pounds of torque from a 455 cubic inch engine. The result was the Buick GS455 with a Stage 1 option that made for a very well-equipped, comfortable, and seriously speedy Buick. If one desired a racier look for their GS to compete with the GTO Judge or Chevelle SS, the GSX option was available. It was also quick in the 0 to 60 sprint at 5.5 seconds and the quarter mile only needing 13.38 seconds to complete. In 1970, the price of this car at the dealership was about $4,800. You could get yourself a pristine example of one of these today for about $150,000. The aggressive and muscular looking Dodge Challenger RT was Chrysler's answer to the Mustang and their entry into the pony car segment. It definitely looked the part with a great design and a range of V8 engine choices including 383, 426, and 440 cubic inch versions. The wild one to have in your Challenger RT was the 426 Hemi with a 4 speed manual transmission. That configuration would propel this American muscle thrill ride from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.4 seconds. How much for the Challenger RT Hemi in 1970? It would set you back about $4,500. If you bought it as an investment and took care of it, you could sell it today for around $350,000. For the Firebird Trans Am 1971 model year, Pontiac decided that bigger was better and upped their engine game to include the 455 cubic inch Brute and made it available in the Formula and Trans Am trim levels. Pontiac engineers breathed their performance magic into the big block engine by adding some Ram Air engine components from the previous year's GTOs to come up with the 335 horsepower LS5. With the 4-speed transmission, it could definitely get up and go, with 0 to 60 miles per hour arriving at 5.4 seconds and the end of the quarter mile appearing at 13.8 seconds. How much when new? It would have cost about $4,700. To put a showroom condition all original 455 HO in your garage today would set you back about $80,000. Chevrolet's midsize Chevelle received a new engine option for 1970. The 454 cubic inch big block Goliath rated at 450 horsepower. The beastly design of the Sport Coupe Chevelle SS announced its performance credentials, and the LS6 could definitely deliver the goods when it was go time. Equipped with a 4 speed U shifted transmission, the LS6 Chevelle could blast a 60 miles per hour from a standstill in 5.4 seconds and conquest the quarter mile in 13.12 seconds and look mighty muscle car fine doing it. In 1970, this car cost around $4,500. If you missed out on getting one back then, not to worry, you can pick up an all original restored LS6 at auction from around $330,000. For the 1971 Corvette, Chevrolet dropped the aluminum head LS6 454 cubic inch engine between the front fenders of this iconic American Roadster 
that made a conservatively rated 425 horsepower. It was called the ZR2 and was a one-year only option that upgraded the suspension, brakes, clutch, and added an aluminum radiator. From the outside, this vet appeared as any other big block version with the 454 badging on the hood's power bulge, but no indication that it was an LS6 version or the ZR2 variant. It was quick though. It would get you to 60 miles per hour in 5.3 seconds and blister through the quarter mile at 13.8 seconds. Not exactly cheap when new in 1971, it would cost you $7,600, about the cost of two Malibus. A ZR2 convertible recently sold at auction for $365,000. To combat the Plymouth Roadrunner and offer buyers a cheaper alternative to their own legendary charger, Dodge formulated the Super B based on its Coronet model. It had the same basic shape as the Charger and Roadrunner, but with less equipment content. However, the engine choices were the same as offered in its Chrysler colleagues, the 383, 440, and 426 cubic inch Hemi. The benefit of its less onboard accessories and options was a lighter weight. Paired with the 425 horsepower 426 Hemi, the Super B could dash from 0 to 60 in 5.3 seconds and gobble up the quarter mile in 13.5 seconds. In 1970, this new car would have cost around $4,000. At auction today, an immaculate all-original Super B Hemi rings in at around $110,000. This one is a bit of an anomaly, as it's from the 1973 model year, a full two years after the apex of the American muscle car peak horsepower year of 1970. The 1973 Trans Am 455 SD is the second Trans Am to show up on our list. This bird benefited from Pontiac engineers upgrading most of the engine components from the standard 455 to yield improved big block performance in this last true muscle car masterpiece. Besides being a sweet looking ride, the 4-speed manually equipped SD could also get up and go, with 0 to 60 coming in at 5.3 seconds and the quarter mile blast only taking 13.5 seconds. When new, this car cost around $5,500 in 1973. Today, set aside about $100,000 to take one home with you. One of the most sought-after muscle cars from the late 1960s and very early 1970s is the Mustang Boss 429. Between 1969 and 1970, only 1,358 of the 429s were produced at Carcraft, Ford's special vehicle engineering facility in Brighton, Michigan. Without the stripes of their Mach 1 sibling, these low-key rides were quick beasts with only 5.3 seconds needed to get to 60 miles per hour from a standstill and the quarter mile run taking 13.7 seconds. Brand new in 1970, this car cost around $5,000. Bring many multiples of $5,000 these days if you want one. They go for about $200,000 to $350,000 at auction for an original example. In 1970, the GTO received freshened body styling and a new polyurethane molded front fascia to distinguish it from its Pontiac Tempest roots. The GTO was a standout muscle car that definitely got you noticed and perhaps invited to an impromptu stoplight drag race every now and then. If you were looking to put some pep into your goat, the 400 cubic inch Ram Air series of engines was the way to go with the top dog Ram Air 4 delivering 370 horsepower. This brawny and gorgeous GTO could rush to 60 miles per hour in 5.1 seconds and blow through the quarter mile in 13.6 seconds. In 1970, this king of Pontiac performance would have cost you about $4,600. Fast forward to today, and this brute will deplete your cash pile by about $100,000 for an all-original model. The 
the winner of the quickest 1970s era muscle car is a bit of a surprise. It's not a pony car, it didn't have a Hemi, and it wasn't all that popular, but it did derive its bones from the Chevrolet Chevelle. The El Camino SS with the LS6 version of the 454 cubic inch engine was the one to beat and reign supreme at stoplight sprint duels. This muscle car truck mashup could do the 0 to 60 dash in 5.0 seconds and pull a quarter mile in 13.44 seconds. Your friendly Chevrolet dealer would have charged you around $3,800 in 1970 to drive one home new. If you did happen to locate one of these almost mythical creatures, it would take about $115,000 to bring it home to your garage. Maybe that's actually a bargain for this very rare unicorn. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to receive new content release messaging. Thanks for watching this video and we hope you enjoyed it.